Hey guys, this is Aridus Jr. here coming to you uh, with another video um, video update of my reef. And um, everything's doing good. The polyps, um, the mushrooms, looks like it's trying to split there. And um, the anemone. So uh, <clears throat> I am trying to uh, battle a new problem as you can see from the last video um, all the hair algae is, is pretty much gone um, that was growing on the rock it is like almost absolutely gone um, from and it took about I would say about three weeks what I did a water change and then I added a uh, uh, a phosphate reactor from marine depot.com they had a a phosban actually I have it right here it's a phosban reactor 150 very 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 inexpensive uh, reactor and I should have put this on my tank in the very beginning and I wouldn't have had the problem of the hair algae growing in the first place so word word to the wise invest in a 30 40 dollar phosphate reactor get you a $15 water pump added to the added to your uh, phosphate re reactor um, as long as it does about 150 gallons per hour your, your um, it should should do the trick it did for mine however I want to show you guys this uh, new problem that I'm having and um, in my system and uh, I'm going to show it to you. I don't know if you can see it right there, but there it is. It's the famous red algae, and it's actually a bacteria. That's what it is, technically. Um, it's not really an algae, but it's a cyan cyanobacteria, I believe is how you pronounce it. Uh, <clears throat> and I, I am going to try to nip this in the butt as quick as possible. Um, because I noticed that the uh, red, the green algae over here is pretty much gone, that probably tells me that um, and this started growing. That's that's two things to me. That the phosphates work. Uh, that the phosphates work, but there's still phosphates present because this wouldn't be growing. So because this is gone, that's still growing. Phosphates are still present. So. I think it's time for me to change the media, which is on. It's just been about two weeks, so it's been about two weeks. So I'm gonna try to put a sponge in there this time, and then do a sponge, and then take the sponge out and do a media, and then go back to the media, the uh, the fine graduate media, media phosphate media. Um, but to help cure it, um, I'm going to use the red slime remover. It's uh, like a tablet, basically that you. Uh, couple teaspoons that you add to your system to help this remove so I'm going to add that but that's a medicated solution I really don't recommend medicated things but by this being a closed uh, loop system I, I will give it a try because it did work perfect on my on one of my other tanks so I'm gonna do another water change at the phosphate sponge as preventive measures because that is what's fueling the red uh, algae uh, so you just don't what I mean by that is you don't want to just do the red slime dose you don't want to do that and put the air stone in or whatever you just don't want to do that because uh, for the simple fact that it's a fix it's not a solution the solution is to control your phosphates so that is the number one thing I'm just trying to stop this in the bud as soon as possible um, because I don't want it to spread because as you can see it started there that's where I first noticed it it's right there and look at here it's all the way down here on the sand already um, so I need to get uh, rid of this as soon as possible because absolutely nothing will eat it um, I Turbo snails, Nas Nazar snail, they're all, they're, they they just avoid it. It's like they don't even, they, don't, they look at it. The crab right here, he's doing something else. He's not even paying attention to it. I tried to constantly put them on top of it. And uh, these little guys, they don't want to work. 
they, they don't want to have nothing to do with that. And I, I haven't found anything that'll actually eat it um, at all. So best thing to do is eliminate the food source, which is changing my phosphate media. And uh, use some red slime remover. So I will be coming back giving you a video update of my progress. Until then, guys, I just want to let you know that uh, everything else is looking pretty good. Um, just can't wait for, have to wait for everything to get back to the way it was. Well, continue to start growing, basically. Oh, look at that. Found another little piece. Wow. They're growing in little bitty spots all over the place now. Yep. So I got one spot, two spot, three spots. Uh, I don't see anything over there. That looks like another spot right there. And that's those two, so about five spots in my tank already. In a matter of a week or so. Well. Until then, guys, I just want to say uh, have a good weekend. And uh, this will be my weekend project is to get some more phosphate media and change, do a water change uh, and uh, get my system back under control or at least attempt to control it. That's all you can do. Alrighty, take it easy. Later.